Hello, welcome to the very first VCS Science Online Show and Share. Um, what I'm going to be sharing with us today is um, what's right above my head, um, and it's actually a home for mason bees. My mom got this for me about four Christmases ago, and this is the first year that it's actually had um, mason bee cocoons in it. So you can see some of the holes are kind of are, are filled up. Now inside each one of those holes there would be uh, uh, probably four or five different uh, mason bees. Now the males are all uh, at the front because um, they're a little more expendable uh, and the females are at the back and the males will emerge uh, uh, first and and they only live for about uh, only live for about two weeks and then the, after the, the females they live for about six weeks now the the mason bees so I didn't know much I didn't know much about them I didn't know much about them and apparently the, the bees that we have that live in our area are called the blue orchard mason bees uh, and they look an awful lot like a housefly. Um, now that I know what they look like, I know that I've seen them before. Here's a picture of what they, of what they look like. They kind of have a bit of a metallic -y look to them, and they have hairs all over their body, uh, and they have, um, yeah, they have an, an antenna. Now, the big difference between um, these guys and um, a housefly would be these hairs. Are specialized. They're actually for gathering, uh, uh, gathering pollen, and uh, their antenna on their head are actually are, are segmented, um, whereas the housefly antenna are, are they have bare kind of bodies and they're and they don't have uh, segmented antenna. Um, now, these guys much better pollinators uh, than. Um, than, than, than honeybees. Uh, and honeybees are very precise in what they do, where they go to the flowers and then they gather their pollen and they put it actually in these, uh, these pollen baskets by their back legs. But, uh, but those, those bees, they fly, they're like, a, they're like a, a puppy being released into a dog park for the first time. Over to this flower, over to this flower, and they're all over the place, and uh, and they just gather so much pollen on on those hairs that they take back to a hole like this, all that pollen, and they make a pollen ball. Now they put the pollen ball in there. I don't know if you can really. No, there it is. Yeah, a pollen ball. And then they lay their egg. And then the larva will eat the pollen ball for energy, and then it'll turn into a, a cocoon, and it'll overwinter there, and then it emerges uh, in April, in April to May. So these guys are going to be out, are going to be out uh, pretty soon, buzzing around. They're one of the very first, the very first type of pollinators. Um, <clears throat> So now that we know a little bit about the mason bee, well, now is the time because they're super cool, right? They're super interesting. Um, hopefully, you start recognizing them around, and they're they're uh, amazing pollinators. But even more important is the question that we all have to ask ourselves: what what mason what what mason do we like? Do we like better, right? Uh, is it <clears throat> is it the mason the mason bee, right? This is another home for mason bees. Actually, a better one, easier for cleaning it. You're supposed to clean them every year because sometimes they actually get mite in the, mites in there. So anyway, is it a the mason bee b the mason jar C the mason tree or D the mason man <laughs>